So it's amazing what Flowstone can do. This is the prototype version of the DSP plug Omega Vocal One. And it sounds pretty good. It has auto makeup, it has all these amazing features. And all that was possible with Flowstone. So it's amazing. You know, I'm I'm limited only by my imagination. That's very exciting. Very exciting indeed. So and you notice my voice stays in the yellow, everything's just right. You might want to add some volume after the fact, and I was probably going to add that setting. So I'm in FL Studio 10, which I use for testing purposes, and I'm looking at the 32-bit version of Subchip, which actually seems a bit better. It actually seems a bit better than the 64-bit version that I came up with. I'll play this for you. I guess the real test here would be to play a straight note and see if that sounds right. Let's see. Perfect. So I'm not really too sure what the difference is in this, this articulation of this. Oh, that's something different. Um, I'm guessing it's in the sequencer. I was looking at the difference here. I didn't test the idea whether or not I could have just hooked this up to this. Maybe I can make that to a poly int and then make that back into a poly stream. I don't know if that's possible. Let me see. No, it wasn't. My guess was right. Okay. Well, that's what I was guessing that I'd have to use code to achieve that. And I did. Um, but so this is the code version uh, that I had found in an older, well, in a newer, sorry, a newer version of the same thing. And this code doesn't seem to, to work as well as this primitive here. Uh, and then this primitive uh, is both this and then to this. And this is, an, is also not a module and is also not code. And it seems to work splendidly. Uh, the sound from it is exquisite, and as you can see, when I hold a note, it sounds far vastly superior to to the 64-bit version. And and I don't know whether that's going to translate uh, to me being able to uh, to hear that note um, in the 64-bit version. Maybe because sometimes the 64-bit version will replace instances of primitives with its own code like, uh, you know, collections of, of primitives inside of a module, including the C, the, the code, whether it be SSE or, or C. Uh, I guess I'll have to find that out. So I will, and uh, wish me luck. But um, before I do that, let's see, uh, I wanted to change a few things. Uh, so this, this here below is the line that moves to show the current note that is playing. And then these here, straighten these out. So it doesn't need to be that way. Okay, well, I'm gonna straighten that out too. And I won't press that again. Okay, so this says if it's over eight, and then I'm gonna need another one of those Oh man, I'm tired. I only had one coffee and I'm feeling a bit slow. Okay. Um I didn't want to use another loop another loop because it would just be over the top. You don't need that not necessarily need a whole bunch of loops uh, to achieve something. Sometimes one loop is enough. So so let's see, four, eight. Oh, so this is eight, and this would be nine, ten, greater than eight. Well, I, I guess it'd be over ten, so, or over twelve. <laughs> I have no idea. I can't even think right now. I'm sorry. All right. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So times three. And then copy this. 
paste and then I'll get a float so I can share those values more simply. And I'll probably streamline this too so that there's a lot less code. But I was gonna make a Ruby version of this so that um so this didn't need to be and then I'll times that by six. I think and I'll take another float here. I'll send that to here. Oh damn. I'm only using one hand. Because uh, I need to get a nice microphone stand, you know, one of those, those uh, bendable arm things. And then I guess I need one more float for here to hold my microphone for me. Till then, my arm will do. Okay. So then I have this and I have the width. And that should be about right, I think. And the color is here. Is that right? No. <laughs> oh, what's it mean? What does it all mean? Bro. Hmm. 10. Over 10? Mm hmm. Okay, so times that. So if I'm timesing this by 3, then I'm timesing this by 2, right? Technically. Okay, well, whatever the case may be, I'll get that working. I'm just so tired. I can't even think right now. And I'll uh, I'll send this to you. Uh, it'll be on the site. And on the, on the DSP Robotics forums. Why don't I go on the DSP Robotics forums so much anymore? You know, I just, I, I sometimes I noticed that there was a bit of uh, sniggering. A bit of, uh, you know disagreements and i just i just felt that uh that uh a lot of those disagreements were born i think of people being annoyed people being annoyed with details and constantly having to rethink things to try and make them more um you know more efficient and and more intrinsic and that's really frustrating for some people i think some people don't like to think about all these details all the time, but I do, I really do. So, so that's why I'm going to send you this really. Ah, yes. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. So 1.5, right? No. Two. So why is two wrong? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, so this one here is one, two. So what is that? So this one here. Oh. So that's three. And then I'd have to come up with a calculation. So with a calculator. Uh, Right, so three in the two, three in the two equals 1.5. Yeah, I was right. I was right. Oh, but then there'd be more math too, wouldn't there? 1.25. No? No. <laughs> 2.25. Seven five. No, two point five. No, 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 no. One point seven five. That should be right. It's not. One point six five. Right. Oh, that's about right. <laughs> well, I want it to look right. And I don't want to think about the math right now because I'm a bit slow in the morning. I can't help it. Okay, uh, 1.66. Yes, yes, good, good. All right, so now I'll do another one. 
And I'll send it off to you. Thank you so much. This is Robert from DSP Plug. And uh, it's a shame that um, so many DSP scripts that don't work uh, have thrust me into the, into the DSP business because I'm not all that great at math. <laughs> but I make do. Okay, and so will you with my code. Oh, and I will be replacing this layout with Ruby. But, um, but the actual sequencer itself will be the C plus version. And it, I, know, I don't know why that sounds so much better, but it does. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.